cost millions of dollars because one lady's night I couldn't take my hands of this famous actor. Hi, Redditors. Have you ever been so embarrassed in your life that you wish the ground could open up and swallow you? Let me share my crazy experience of how I had ruined my life and reputation and lost a lot of money. It was crazy that my life just changed in one night and I had to go through a terrible ordeal all because I had been too handsy on a famous actor one night at the club. I hadn't known that he would react so badly, but it was the first time I had seen an actor and plus the drinks that I had imbibed. This had all gotten to me and it had made me make a big mistake and I had suffered a lot from it. My friends had invited me to a club because it had been a shitty week throughout and they knew I needed to let loose not knowing I was going to let too loose and wish I could turn back the time. I would have never gone to the club with them. I had followed my friends because I had needed to forget my problems for a bit. When I had gotten to the club, the music and the ambience was just what I had needed. I wasn't planning for everything to literally go south. My friends had gotten a table in the VIP section of the club. How they did that I didn't know. It was just my job to follow them around and drink all the drinks because I deserved it. So I had followed them into the VIP section and the drinks had just kept on coming. Not long later, I was already drunk off my head and the music was getting to me and I was having the time of my life. Then my friends started whispering and pointing towards a secluded part of the VIP section. I joined in on the whispering and it was revealed that the person they were pointing at was a local celebrity who had just entered the club with a few of his entourage. I hadn't known celebrities visited the clubs or at least clubs like the one my friends and I had gone to, but I had been excited to see one. At first, I just wanted a closer look at who it was. I had never seen a celebrity physically in my life. So I did what most of you would have done. I told my friends I was going to the restroom. Meanwhile, I was just going to see if I could sneak in through the clubbers and sneak past his entourage. If I could get a good look at his face, I could mark it that I had seen a celebrity. I mean, if it was you guys, you would have done what I did. Maybe you all would have just stopped at that when the guy's security detail kicked you out. But I decided to be persistent. And what I planned to do landed me in a whole lot of trouble. Well, not at first anyway, but you all shouldn't judge me. After I got kicked out, I went back to my friends and found out that they had ordered more drinks. They were no longer interested in the celebrity, but I don't know why it was still bugging me to find out who the person was. I drank with my friends and put the plan that was going to lead me to trouble. I drank three shots for courage, my first mistake, and made my way to the part of the section where the celebrity was with his entourage, some drinking and dancing. I joined in on those dancing, I don't know how I managed to blend in. In all honesty, everything was such a blur in my head. I managed to get in and the liquid courage imbibed and I danced near the guy and I realized it was a very famous actor. I wasted no time in taking pictures and one of the security details caught me and smashed my phone. That's when all hell broke loose. I started screaming at the top of my voice and saying a hell lot of things that I can't remember as I share this experience, but they had been bad. They had just smashed my phone while I was going through a terrible phase in my life and they think they could get away with it. I raised hell at the bar and the management had to drag me out and my friends followed suit and we were banned from the bar all because of a stupid actor. Fast forward four months later, I was being sued for defamation of character and extortion, bribery and posting of pictures gotten from illegal means and a whole bunch of other things by this same actor, LOL. You may be wondering how I had gotten myself entangled in all these allegations when my phone had been smashed. Well, there's something called iCloud, duh, but that was beside the point. Why was I still involved with this actor four months later? Now that was the million dollar question. I had sold the actor's pictures to news blogs and used it to extort money from him. I had been desperate and had let the power I had get to my head. My name is Lois. I'm going with my grandmother's name because I've read stories on this platform and no one uses their real name when telling their experiences. Anyway, I'm 26 years old and I somehow managed to get disowned, ruin my life and lose a lot of my parents' money all in the space of six months. I knew this year wasn't going to be my year from the first moment the clock struck 12 midnight on New Year's Day, but I had been optimistic. What could I have done that could have been so preposterous? I did a lot of things and I'm coming here to pour my heart out hoping you guys won't judge. Well, it doesn't matter what you say to me anyway. You don't know anything about my life. So the night after I had managed to get my friends banned from one of the most exotic clubs in America, my life just got worse from there. I won't exactly pinpoint where I stay in case you all decide to get crazy and hate mail me. I didn't have any phone, I had just been booted from my job. This was why I was having a shitty day in the first place. My ex-boyfriend's sister was raining curses on me because apparently I had broken her brother apart. Anyway, that night turned out to be the worst, so I swore I was definitely going to get my revenge on the stupid celebrity and make sure he somehow buys my phone back. I was pained and I didn't like the injustice that was done to me. Sure, I had intruded on his personal space, but I just wanted some pictures. 
so I reached out to the actor via email. I'm not also going to say his name on here because you guys would be able to trace who the person is. I reached out to the actor via email and told him how his security details destroyed my phone because I had wanted to take a few pictures with him and now I didn't have a phone and he should do something about it. A day, two days, one week, two weeks went by and I hadn't gotten a response from said actor. I was livid. I didn't have any source of income that was going to give me the money to buy the phone I had been using before. I was broke and working at a cafe shop even though I had a degree. My parents weren't talking to me because lol in my mother's words, I was a good for nothing because I didn't do anything good with the opportunity they presented me. They had beef with me because I had cheated on my boyfriend who had wanted to marry me and had done so in a cruel way. What I had done wasn't so bad. I had just dumped him at the wedding altar after he had spent all his savings to give me the type of wedding I had always talked about. Then two days later he had found me in bed with the plumber that comes to fix our drainage while we were meant to be on our honeymoon. But that wasn't my fault. I had told him that I hadn't wanted to marry at that moment. I had still been getting my life together and he goes behind my back and planned a wedding with my friends and family thinking that would wow me. Well, he was the one that was shocked when I jilted him on the altar. I didn't like him and let me be honest on here. I had been cheating on him since we marked one year in our relationship. This was why his sister had been calling me every fortnight to rain insults on me. I don't regret my actions, but I regret the way I had gone about it. It had been horrific to watch my ex-boyfriend's face as I said no on the wedding altar. This was someone that I had been dating since college. Anyway, that's beside the point. I just wanted to give you people some backstory into how karma messed me up. It was all my fault and I take full responsibility of it. I was a menace and I didn't care who I had hurt. I had fallen out of love with him and instead of me to break it off, I had kept on with the relationship because my ex-boyfriend provided things for me that my parents stopped providing for me because I refused to put my degree to use and look for a job. I had been spoilt right from time to cut my story short. My parents had given me everything I wanted from the day I was born up till I graduated college. And once I was done, they refused to fund my lifestyle any longer. So I had turned to my boyfriend whom we had started dating in college. There was nothing that he wouldn't have done for me, but I had thrown that all away and taken it for granted. I had started cheating on him two years into our relationship when he would go out to work. I didn't find him attractive anymore, so our sex life had dwindled and I had found excitement with the plumber. Truth be told, I might have led my boyfriend on for longer if he hadn't proposed marriage to me and spoilt everything. I hadn't wanted to be bound by marriage. Well, all these things had happened last year. I broke things off with him in front of our friends and family and broke his heart and he turned into the villain right before my eyes. After I broke things off with my ex, I think that was six months ago. My parents refused to even look my way from then on and most of my friends hated me. Except the ones that didn't know I had a boyfriend to begin with. I was forced to go and look for work and I was so terrible at it that I lost it and had to drink and had a run-in with the famous actor and his security detail and my life is in shambles now. So this was how everything led to this point. The point where the actor has refused to answer my emails where he would get me my phone. I had already used up the last salary I had gotten on groceries and rent. I was staying with one of my friends, part of the ones that didn't know I had a boyfriend and almost got married and all that shit. I hadn't known this was how my life was going to turn out. So after paying my friend the last rent after owing her past the due date and buying groceries, I was broke to get myself a new phone and I didn't know who else to ask for the money so it was disturbing the actor's email that was my last resort. Apparently it turned out to not be my last resort lol. Luckily, or should I say unluckily for me, my friend had just changed her phone and she gave me her old one with the promise to pay her back for it, of course. I logged into my iCloud and found the pictures I had taken off the famous actor. Drunk off his ass, of course, and an evil plot grew in my head. I mean, he wasn't answering my emails and texts, and because of him, my phone had been smashed and he refused to take responsibility of his actions. Or at least responsibility of his security details action. So I had to resort to other means. I found something for him to respond to LOL. I sent the picture to the email I had been sending messages to for over four weeks and said if I didn't get a response within a day, I was going to post the picture to a blog site. Guess what? I got a response before two hours LOL. That had been the fastest reply I had ever gotten from them. And it showed that they had been reading my emails and had decided to ignore them, but now that I had the upper hand, they had to answer me. And can you imagine what whoever was handling this actor's email had told me? that I should delete the picture or I wouldn't like the consequences of my actions. Instead of trying to negotiate how to get me a new phone and pay for the damages they had caused me, the person resorted to threatening me. Would you blame me for taking action into my own hands at this point? 
No, because I'm sure you all reading this would have been as livid as I was. Anyway, I wrote down what I thought of them and what they could do with their consequences and told them that if I didn't see a sim of $5,000 in my account, I was going to sell off the pictures. I gave them two days to pay in the money and also let them know that I had plenty where the pictures had come from. And I had also used an untraceable IP address to send the message so they couldn't track me if they wanted to. I don't know how I had the courage and audacity to talk like that. I don't even know how I had become smart enough to think of things like an untraceable IP address and all that crap. Guess I wasn't as dumb as my parents thought me to be LOL. The actor's email handler answered within 24 hours again. Yep, they wired the sum of $10,000 to me and demanded I deleted the picture, which I did. I swear on my life that I did LOL, but I had just deleted the one I had sent to them. I hadn't deleted the others that I had taken. Plus, you know how it works with iCloud. Something can never truly be deleted. At least I believe that. I pocketed my money, gave my roommate back her phone and got a new phone for myself. With 10 grand, I could live okay for some months. Or so I thought. You know that thing about blackmailers? Yeah, the thing where they always come back for more? Yes, I went back for more. But I only went back for more when the blackmailer had become the blackmailed. Yeah, funny twist of fate, that's the summary of my life in this few months. Karma the bitch came visiting. It came knocking on my door like a guest that her pending visit was long overdue El Mao. I might be laughing as I'm reliving the experience, but at that moment it hadn't been funny. My ex-boyfriend decided to take revenge on me and demand back all the money that he had spent on me while dating and the one he had spent on the wedding. Like, who does that? It had been six whole months or more then, couldn't he have just forgiven and forgotten? Apparently no he couldn't, he couldn't have left me to be. This was why I had to give you guys my backstory because it only gets hella funnier from here. I got a call from him one day while I was still lavishly enjoy the 10 grand and he told me that I had done enough damage in his life and he was done making up excuses for me and he was going to go for my jugular. I was so shocked that he had the gall to even call me. We had left at an impasse so why couldn't he just rest and leave me be? I had taken responsibility of what I had done wrong. So on the call my ex-boyfriend decided to blackmail me. Apparently he had pictures of me in nude mode with the plumber. He had known all along that I was cheating on him, but he had wanted to overlook because he loved me and now he was done. I had never been more surprised. I couldn't believe it. Then he sent me the pictures and told me if I didn't give him back how much he spent for the wedding, he was going to send this to my father and he wouldn't stop there. He would send it to every top official that knew my parents. And he was going to send it to the blogs. Daughter of popular asterisk, 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 high earner slugging it down with the help. This would have been the headlines that would have made the news. Time for another backstory. My parents were rich and had a reputation that had been going on long for my great-grandparents. I can't say in what field that they had quite a reputation because it would become open who my parents are loyal. I had to give it to my ex. He really kept through to his word. He went for the jugular. I didn't care what my parents thought of my reputation. It had already been ruined in their eyes ever since I had decided getting work after college. LOL, I even forgot to add that I had turned down a job offer that my dad had gotten for me. So if it was just my reputation being ruined in their eyes, I wouldn't have fallen trapped for my ex. But it wasn't just my reputation on the line. It was my parents' reputation on the line too. And I couldn't just sit on the sides and let that happen. They wouldn't have been able to raise their heads up and they would have gotten their stocks low or one business issue like that. I couldn't risk that because if I ran into some really deep trouble, I was going to need them. My ex-boyfriend was serious on his threat. I knew that he was serious from the fact that he sent me the picture. My ex never started anything that he couldn't finish. He was a straightforward person and meant what he said. I was scared and this was how I had started making mistakes. I asked him how much he had spent for the wedding trying to sound nonchalant and unaffected and he had told me hundred grand. He had spent a whooping hundred grand on a wedding and I had jilted him on the altar. According to him, that had been his savings that he had wanted to use and begin a startup company, but he had thrown it all away from me because he thought I had been worth it, but he was glad that he hadn't taken the marriage step with me because I would have made his life miserable. The essence of his phone call was to crush me and make me scared and tell me to send over his money, which I told him that I wouldn't be able to pay him hundred grand for something I had told him that I hadn't wanted. Was that my fault? Was it right for him to demand I pay for something I didn't want? But Karma wanted to play pranks with me and it had used him. How in the world was I going to get a hundred grand? This was what I had asked him, but my ex hadn't seemed to care. He had told me he was giving me a month to get the money or he was going to release the pictures to my parents in the world. And he knew my dad's heart was already weak. He wanted to kill my dad, I had no choice. 
From the beginning of this story, I had told you all not to judge me because you never know what you would have done and defend if it were you in my shoes. So I went back to what I had said I wouldn't do. I was desperate and desperate times called for desperate measures. So I went back to blackmail the actor. I hadn't known what I was doing in retrospect. I just wanted to make everything less complicated because it was becoming overwhelming for me. And I couldn't go to ask my parents for the money because they would rather die than give me the money, even though they didn't know that it was for their own good at the end. I had to resort to the actor that I had sworn to not blackmail again, but I didn't want it to look like it was the same person that had blackmailed them before, so I had used a different email address. The pictures, however, told the story that it was still me because it was the same pictures. I sent the email and I think this time I forgot to use an untraceable address because I was desperate and forgot that I could be tracked. I had talked myself into believing that an actor could bear to part with a few hundred grand so I had demanded for two hundred grand. I had gone a stretch too far I know and made my first mistake, but I had seen an opportunity and I wanted to utilize. I didn't know when I was going to get something that could make me retire for the next at least two years if I managed well. My mouth had salivated at the opportunity. But life said I couldn't eat my cake and have it that easily. When I had mentioned the sum to the actor's handler, I received Google Meet calls through the night. When I didn't pick up, I saw an email the next morning saying that the actor wanted to invite me to his mansion so we could talk out the terms of my blackmail. LOL like as if I didn't know a threat to shut me up when I saw one. I communicated back and said that I needed the money to shut me up or else I would release that picture to the internet and the actor would be in trouble. Now you might be wondering why an actor would be trying to keep a picture of him having a good time at the club with drinks and people around him out of the internet lol. I had been wondering the exact same thing after my first blackmail scheme had worked. So I had done some random googling and found out that said famous actor was supposed to stay away from the bottle and clubs after it had been found out that he was an alcoholic. The actor had put out an apology and said he wasn't going to get near a drink again after that gossip had almost ruined his career. And now I had proof of him going against his word. So this was why they wanted to dispose of any evidence I had and wanted to keep me under the wraps. All I had asked for was just a few hundred grands. I hadn't even asked for half a million, but I had lost it all in the end. I didn't agree to the meeting and gave them three days to have the money in my account. He was a famous person. He was supposed to have that type of money at his disposal to give out to protect his rep, right? Well, he had the money. Because his handler or agent or whatever they call them, I've been calling it handler lol. His handler sent me an email with a file attached L. The file was a contract that read that I was going to delete the picture and not blackmail them again, or else they would take legal action against me. I was to sign with my real name and signature and send it back to them, or they were not going to release the money I had requested. This was where I was foolish because I could have just said duck them and sold the picture to a blog looking for its hottest story. But I didn't think of that. My ex was already blowing up my phone and starting a countdown for me and I had just thought about all the things I could do with the money so I signed the contract and they wired the money into my account and I thought all my problems would be solved. I had thought that was the end as I had wired the money to my ex and told him to never call my phone again. I was free and could live my life with the extra 200 grand that I had gotten from my scheme. I could live large and not bother about working. I was happy. Karma was ticking down the time for me and I was laughing my butt off like a maniac and drinking Chardonnay. It didn't take time before everything blew up in my face. Apparently my ex hadn't gotten over what I did to him even after giving him the hundred grand that he had asked for. He still insisted that I owed him something and that was the leg he had used to come back to my life demanding for another set of money again. I gave him the money he asked for because I had it, sent him a very long emotional message that told him what he was doing was wrong after all my parents had done for him and this time I blocked his number, and changed my number. If he wanted to ruin my parents' lives, I didn't give two suits. I thought I could manage with what I had, but because of how ravish I spent, the money was soon exhausted. This was something I hadn't believed possible. In all my life, I would never have believed that 200 grand could vanish within the blink of an eye until I experienced it. I was broke before I could even spell Jack, and I didn't know what else to do. A month later, my friend was about throwing me out for rent and my share of the groceries. This was someone that had followed me to spend the money I had, but at the slightest issue with rent, the witch was ready to kick me out. I began looking for money desperately, and I remembered one time I had ran into a blogger, or whatever it was they called themselves one night during a dinner I had gone for. She had been complaining she had no story to run and was on the verge of losing my job. Once again, I made a decision like I didn't have a brain to think, and here began my downfall. I called the blogger up because we had exchanged contacts and told her I have a story for her, but she had to be willing to pay hefty money for it. 
I told her the story was juicy and I hadn't even remembered I was bound by a contract. The blogger offered me 150,000 grand and once again I was desperate. And she said the highest she could give me was 50,000. Apparently her boss wouldn't be able to pay that much for a story and she was going to even add her money to it. I ended up selling it to her for $50,000. Yeah, I was foolish. I was more than foolish. The story made the rounds before the actor caught up to it and went for the news company. That was when the blogger sold me out. They shut down the story before it could even sell and other people could catch on to it. If not, you guys would have known what I was talking about well if you are living where I am living. Everything came down to me in the contract that I had signed but didn't keep to. This was how I had I seen myself arraigned in court because one lady's night I had gone all handsy on a famous actor and taken pictures of him that had put me in serious trouble. I was in serious trouble. I was at home when the police banged on my apartment. I guess it wasn't that hard to find me because I had been careless about leaving a traceable IP address and they had tracked me with that and my account number. I had left so many holes uncovered and now I was facing the consequences. The police told me I was under arrest for extortion and misleading information that led to defamation of character and then going against a contract agreement. All these charges because I hadn't known when to quit it. I was hungry for money I didn't work for and now I had put my hand in something I couldn't come out of. The actor sued me to court because I had broken the contract and my phone was seized and the pictures were deleted. I did know how serious my situation was until the police were telling me to call my lawyer or if I would like a public defender. This was when I realized I was in deep soup. I didn't have anyone to call and I couldn't tell my parents. I didn't think they were going to come to my aid. The police weren't giving me any time to think and handed me a public attorney when I didn't call anyone or call home. However, it wasn't long before my parents got wind of it because my friend had called them. She had been there when the police had come to take me away. I went to court and once again was read the charges. Everything had just seemed so surreal and it had felt like an out-of-body experience when I had been in the court because I couldn't believe that I would ever have seen myself in the position I was at that moment. My lawyer could only get me to pay a bail of $3 million in compensation or face jail time of three years because I was up against extortion and bribery and defamation and I was against a rich person who had influence to an extent. Yeah, I had no case to even defend against because I had signed a contract and gone against it. My lawyer couldn't do anything to save my butt and I had to pay the fine or go to prison. I couldn't go to jail. I had to go beg my parents and I asked that if they do this for me. I would become responsible and never bother them again in life. My mother had just looked at me with a sad shake of her head when I was begging. I knew what was going through her head. She couldn't believe she had raised someone like me. Yeah, I couldn't believe I was me either. My father agreed to pay the $3 million fine, but before he did, my father disowned me. He told me that he couldn't bear for me to give him more headache and he was totally done with me and from now on I was dead to him. I had overheard them when they were whispering to themselves. He had been telling my mother that I needed to grow up and I had been pampered my whole life. I thanked my dad and he walked out from the courtroom. I've never seen my dad till this moment that I'm narrating my ordeal. This was what had come out of my stupidity and foolishness and what my father had said that day had gotten to me. I had been spoiled and thought the world would fall into place at my beck and call. I was taught my lesson. I had learnt my lesson, Redditors. I had bitten more than my mouth could chew and it had yielded the wrong results that I had never expected in my life. What I wished was that my parents could forgive me and my ex could forgive me too because I don't know if it was the karma of what I had done that was ruining my life. I hope they forgave me because I regret my actions. And to the actor that I had thought I could exploit for my own selfish reasons, I'm truly sorry. Update. Hi Redditors, I'm back on this space. I had decided that I was just going to come on here and pour out my wrong deeds and let it go. More or less like a letting go of whatever was holding me back fest. I never thought I would reactivate my account again lol. But I wanted to see what was going on in this part of the web and see how my experience was going. You all are a funny bunch for sure. Someone in the comments said I was a child who needed to grow up. Someone else said karma hadn't even dealt with me well, that I needed to have lost something more valuable for me to have felt remorseful for what I had done. Well, it was because of these comments that I decided to give you all an update so you can thank them. Well, I had done a lot of growing up since this event happened and losing my parents being disowned had made me learn that I needed to sit up with my life. No one else was there for me except me. So I've come to tender a formal apology to the actor and my parents. I'm truly sorry and I have learnt my lesson. To my parents, I'm working on bettering my life. To the actor, I hope I didn't make your life more difficult or complicated. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me if I had played a part in making your life worse than it was. I'm building my life back up little by little. 
I'm going to deactivate my account on here and I hope you guys learn a thing or two from what I had to go through. Bye Redditors. Always do the right thing.